Welcome back to more of my Zatan the Black campaign for Total War Warhammer 3, the Chaos Dwarf industrial Cathayan adventure <laughs> continues. Because yeah, that is that is our kind of short-term goal. Destroy Cathay and turn it into a massive industrial hellscape. It sounds delightful. So yeah, we're back with Zatan the, the Black. This will probably be our third episode out on YouTube. So hi YouTube peeps. Twitch peeps, say hi to YouTube peeps. YouTube peeps, say hi to Twitch peeps. Again, we're streaming and recording this at the same time. From now on, the streams of this series should be um, Mondays and Thursdays going forward over on Twitch and uploads on YouTube every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday going forward until we hit all our objectives and obviously face the ultimate crisis. We've got two of them enabled for this campaign. Um, a grudge too far. So Chaos Dwarves versus Dwarves at the end of all things and uh, the biggest war so having a massive green skin rebellion against us and trying to put them down right we just smashed village the curseling into oblivion let's spend some points and then finish off village's vassal unyielding command uh, i mean i like the that feels like that's a new icon that looks cool but uh and it's not what i want right now it's hard to hit is what i want um boundless cruelty passive ability is just a, a leadership hex. Eh. We'll take it though. Down the demon smith. You are going to get some flame storm. And Gordot's backstabber, our legendary hero. You are going to get more replenishment and then more gutter fighter stabbiness. Because that's what you just love doing. When do we unlock some regiments right now? Rank 10. Okay. Denied. Right. What we're going to do is break off the siege with these guys because I'd rather initiate the attack with Zatan's army. Zatan hit the settlement. It's pure victory without drawing the others in. Do I want to draw the others in? Oh, they, they're still within range. I actually don't need to bring them closer. Hmm... I'm assuming it doesn't make a difference, actually, as long as they're in range. Ah, oh, actually, can I bring them round so they come in my side of the campaign map? Or my side of the battle map, I should say. Let's find out. Let's go sort some marauders. We need to fight it because otherwise we're going to lose some hobgoblins, some orc laborers, and the hobgoblin sneaky gits. And I don't want to lose them just yet. So in we go. Let's smush them. Let's do it. A gorgeous magma cannon. The Death Shrieker rocket. We're going to annihilate the, the advancing lines of marauders. Cavalry will probably get close to us. Yeah, they're coming in from behind now. Behind us. Good. Don't think we'll need the reinforcements, but every little helps. Reinforcements come in here. I'm just trying to look terrain. It all kind of slopes down this way. Which isn't necessarily ideal for us. So, I'm going to form up here. Main thing is that my artillery can fire straight away. Let's pop them forward a bit. Sit like that. Uh, Zatan, I've got to be careful with you because you are low on health. Careful with the archers as well. But we've got our we've got our train ready to cause some carnage. Yeah, 
beautiful magma cannon. And this I absolutely love because of the uh, multiple uh, rocket types that you get. Yeah, so the scatter shot's good against uh, multiple units, whereas the single one is best used against single entity targets. That's rather sneaky. You've moved out of range. Can be... Actually... See if I can wiggle my way in here because then I've got my my back or well not my back but my flank secured a little bit. Everybody run. I just need to adjust my missile troops where my blunderbuss is. They're going to be there. Okay, now they've got clean line of sight. That's fine. These guys coming in are probably... Oh, no, actually, no. I can just bring them in up here. They'll take three minutes, but they will come in. There we go. can drag that around. Try and send you forward, just because I feel like dropping a flame storm on somebody's face. Or even a burning head. Go on, you know you want to. Do that. Quick. Because they're marching now. Fire off there. Three, two, one. Nice. Get back behind the battle lines. Oh, they are shredding me, poor train. Get out of there. Pull back, pull back, pull back. If it comes to it, I can just re-recruit another one. But I'd rather not lose it, if I can avoid it. Flamestorm. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. The improved visuals on these spells are great. Get him. How much longer do they come in? Not long. I can throw them in the action. Magma cannon, would you mind? Nice. 
Let me train around. Sneak gets Munch him. Yeah, they broken. Beautiful. Oh, look at the shot. Fireworks of death. So yeah, I was going to test out. Some of you weren't sure if you gain extra XP after battle. After, well, after the battle's been called, essentially. Let's turn these guys around. They need 1,486. See them fire off. Should they get any kills? Pretty sure it was dropping. But maybe they just patched it again. I know there's been some other patches in my build going on recently. But it's definitely worth chasing down enemies for more captives at the end of battle. Because that way you get more laborers. See if I can check the tan. Oh no, I can't. I can't actually see his XP, can I? Always been the case. You can't see the Lord's XP. Use this check with the wolves because they're fast enough to do it with. How many Charlemagnes did the visuals cost us for the upgraded fire uh, effects? All the Charlemagnes. 169. I sworn I checked the other day and it was definitely going up still. Guess not. Maybe it hadn't, maybe it hadn't fully kicked in the end battle bit. So that's still in play. But yeah, getting more captives at the end of battle. Worth it. Oh yeah, laws don't get battle XP. They get XP based off of the performance at the end of it. Hmm. Boom. Decisive victory. 284 loss, but not a whole unit anywhere. We nearly lost the uh, the train. Iron Demon, but we didn't. This is all good. Didn't really get to do much with his hand because he's a little bit weakened right now. Let's see how many captives we got. So yeah, it's tank got 3,568 XP. Got 110 labor. Lovely. Yeah, from 1,037 captured. Nice. And we've got a tower and we've got a factory. So yeah, factories, please. Be the best. A recent clutch of reports regarding ill discipline in the lower ranks is cause for concern. Clearly, uh, clods are being hired. This has to stop. Recruitment costs have risen accordingly, but new recruits begin two ranks higher. Okay. Can join separation. Be the village. That's just firing off again because we already defeated the village before. Take the extra melee defense, though. That's useful. Um, full plate armor. 
Yeah, how much longer until I get my... Oh, he's got his Lamasu now as well. Just unlocked. Amazing. Can't wait to see the Lamasu. It's going to be lovely. Right, full plate armor, please. Dan, the Demon Smith. Um, let's get some magical reserves, please. And then, yeah, Gutter Fighter. Fated is... If we're going to use him a bit more on the campaign, but also we would stop heroes sniping out of my army. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to revert that, go through that, and then go through Lucky, because then we next get Sneaky, which gives Vanguard deployment for all of the Hobgoblin units, which would be pretty pretty great. Then we'll go through that. Um, you're sure. I'm going to name you our Tim for this campaign. Tim the Firesmith, for now. Don't die, Tim. Um, you've been you've been promoted to a lord in this campaign, mate, um, because you're a sorcerer prophet. You get the Great Taurus, a Lamasu, and then a Bale Taurus. Who doesn't want demonic balls everywhere? Um, dark subjugation. What does that do? Um, leadership defense, really. Ashstorm or Curse of Hushut. That is direct damage. Strong versus character, single combatants. Yeah, let's grab that. Yoink. And then we'll get Killing Fire and everything else. I really want to see the Hellhammer in action and the Flames of Asgorth. That's meant to be an absolutely lovely spell. In fact, we can... Um, we can see this right now, can't we? Let's have a look at spells. Law for shit. Hellhammer. Oh, smash. That's great. And then Flames of Asgorth. Nice. Magmary explosion. Lovely. Can also do the overcast. I don't know if that changes the uh, the video. That seemed like there was more, but I don't know. Maybe we just didn't pay attention the first time. Oh no, it does. Uh, I think it resets it. Oh no, no, I think it's the same video. Overcast gives an increased number of missiles. Sweet. Can't wait to see that. Uh, yeah, factory, please. All the lovely factories. Yeah, we could we could go for killing fire with him first. Um, which just triggers when you cast a spell. Uh, it's an area around him, effect range 55 meters. I tend to keep my spellcasters further back though, so it's not. It wouldn't be my first pick to be honest. I'd probably still prefer to choose that to nuke down enemy lords and heroes and stuff. Uh, I can't get any more chores because we're capped out at the moment. Mm. I, I don't want to. I might go for a. At some, I don't know if we'll do it just yet with Tim the Fire Smith. But when we've got another Sorcerer Prophet at some point, I may well then pair up Gordot's Backstabber into a Sorcerer Prophet's army and just run a themed Hobgoblin only army. Maybe with some war machines or something like that. Because um, I like to theme my army sometimes. Doom skull key. For you, we'll just have whatever we can get. Do not displease me. At a dark stock. I will take some more orc laborers. Cheap, cheerful, and happy to be here. They're not happy to be here. <sighs> Maximum cost. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, martial training, unique experience gain plus 10% at the cost of 250 armaments. What am I saving up for right now? Increasing my capacity of existing ones? Possibly. I, mean, I could get more war machines if I wanted to. I could also apply frenzy to these guys if I wanted to as well. Which, I'm going to do it. So it costs us 24 and then 24 
at the moment, 24 armaments uh, upkeep per turn. It's 8 per unit that's applied to, so it's plus 46. Well, that gives our Chaos Dwarves frenzy, which is rather useful. Makes them even more dangerous. Doesn't help choose what we're doing next, though, Lionheart, does it? No. Mantry service, martial training, recruit ranks. I am I'm gonna go through to get hotter furnaces. I really don't I really don't care for harbor guilds right now, but we've got to go through that to get to hotter furnaces. That's what I'd quite like. Building upgrade available. How's our economy doing? We've got plenty of slaves, uh laborers, uh unpaid interns, um backpackers on their gap year. Um we've got plenty of workforce. <laughs> plenty of people in the mines. Um we can upgrade the outpost if we want to, or we can upgrade the strip mine to get more raw materials. We're upgrading this one right now. We could try and force it through, rush it for 540. That would not be a good idea, though. Um, I think I am. That increases our workload requirements by 100. We can probably take that. I'm going to do that, and then I'll start upgrading you next time as well. For the Eastern Steps, we're not sending any slaves here because we're just going for all factories right now. Our next province, which will be Red Wastes, I guess just a mining one. It'll be a tower and a mine. Certainly. And how are we looking at the Tower of Tsar? Yeah, they've got in there. We want to put more into the industry district so we get this done and we can progress through. Feel good. Right, commandment available. Rush construction labor cost minus 10%. Construction cost minus 10 for all buildings. Recruitment. Refinery buildings plus 10%. Um, is it that's not that line. It's this one in here. Yeah. We don't have any of those just yet. So not much point doing that one. So we could get more armaments output, which that would be beneficial for these guys. Or we can have control. I think we'll just go for construction cost. I'm assuming it's 10% for all resources, not just gold, even though gold's the one shown there. Hopefully. Right. Uh, let me just check the convoy again. We can send off another convoy. So let's do that. Uh, or they return to the capital. So I could send another one off that's connected. Oh, wow. Source convoy army starts with more units. Missile resistance 10%, physical resistance 10%, and he spawns with loads of units. Or we can get a war uh, machinist. Which are also quite nice. Is that a dread quake mortar? Oh. Oh. I want all of it. I could wait for one of these guys to come back. It's only another turn. For these guys, the sharpshooter. The infernal guard. Rather than spending 750 right now. Yeah, let's just wait a turn. The other one, how long has it got? Two turns and then we'll get more laborers anyway. Beautiful. We can nearly pick another seat actually. We'll be able to do it next turn. What does Frenzy do? Um, it gives you uh, a buff across various stats. I'll show it again in a minute. Desires. Yeah, thank, thanks for... Oh, they're declaring war on me. Ah, I see. Are they going to sally straight? They're coming straight for me. Do we risk retreating and having less units to potentially fight them overall with? Or do we try and fight them now? I 
I'm kind of tempted to retreat just on the chance they can't push to the settlement. But I have a feeling they probably can. It's going to take a minute 44 for my reinforcements to come in. Twitch have decided my fate here and they want to see me fight this. Here we go. If I were to retreat and they were to chase me, would I have both armies? Probably not. But the main the main thing right now is that I'm not. Um, my artillery is going to take a minute 44 to come in and start deploying. Oh, their reinforcements come in from here. I was hoping I could form up in this little gap here. I mean, I can move my reinforcements round behind, but we don't want to slow our reinforcements coming in any longer than they already are. We could form up along like that corner there. Yeah, I was hoping I could like just deploy here. Funnel them in a bit. Minute 58. Minute 44. What about if I pull it around here? Oh, 4 minutes 31. Having a giggle. Uh, now I can't get back to that same spot, can I? There we go. We can still try and form up across like the little narrow net of an opening here. Oh, I'm going to deploy these guys down here where my reinforcements will come in. Yeah, the AI does tend to wait for reinforcements. That's true. That's what I'm hoping they're going to do right now. They're going to pull back to those reinforcements. So even if the thing is, if they're putting up to those reinforcements, this wouldn't be a great position because we want our artillery firing for as long as possible, ideally. Let me get behind them and like form up in a corner. And they're going to they're gonna go for the high ground there. I think I'm just going to form up along this little neck between the drop that side and the lava this side. Death on one side, <laughs> death on the other side. Just one is magma. Here we go. How's the balance power doing? Oh, God, they got 3,642. It's not good. It's not good. I think we're definitely going to lose the train. The Iron Demon, that's fine. I mean, really, at this point, it doesn't matter how many troops we lose as long as we don't completely lose. Yeah, so good thing we got these guys frenzy, actually, then. Right. Uh, um. Ooh ah ah. Ooh ah ah. I don't want me blunderbuss is probably around about here by the looks of things. It's kind of clear for them. Uh, please don't do the yin and yang because that makes you guys actually pretty formidable. Oh, hands on his uh, Lamasu now as well. There he is. Look at that mad lad. That looks cool. Why have I got enfeebling foe? How have I got enfeebling foe and withering? One use. Interesting. An item, maybe? Hobgoblin 
Are you guys coming? You're still forming up, aren't you? Uh oh. I was like, please derp out and just like sit there for the next 50 minutes. <laughs> no. I'm assuming magical in nature, it's probably from the mount. Yeah. That's pretty cool, if that's the case. Can I run you out and hit him with that? Not really. Two lords. You guys are still having a good old shuffle around, aren't you? You're getting a bit you're getting a bit confused by the cliffs. Yeah, it might be bound to the Lamasu. I'll have to check it out. It 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 might be that like I picked up an item and I haven't realised that it's equipped yet. Here they come. We're getting squished in here, guys. That magma melts, though. I mean, that's some pretty huge damage. Worried about that cavalry. Even though it's just peasant horsemen. Anina Dumskal Karbanu Nikutu. It's all these arches as well, which means I can't just sit here. I'm gonna have to push out to them and it eventually. Is the other one charged in yet? Oh no, they're both they're both staying up there. Blast them with that. Hit them across with that one. Oh, 
Oh, nice. That's huge fire damage. Flamestorm, please. Oh, friendly fire. Not good. Turn a fire over here. So dark on this map. It's like, what's going on? I don't know. Fire that. Oh, that's a miss. Fire it through. As a tan, careful, you're getting targeted. Weaken their defense. Get him. Flame Storm. It's hitting some own sneaky gits, but it's also melting. Cafe, I'll take it. My artillery. We've got any more spells? No. That's it now. Go get him. Come on, cannons. It's all on you guys. Oh, my death streak is gone. I'm assuming they're frenzying. Oh, Blunderbuss. Get into him. Come on, shred, shred, shred. Oh, 
Nice. Shattered. Yes! Victory! <laughs> we did yet. Ah. If I kill their generals right now, they'll just um, spawn new ones. I don't really want to do that unless I have to. It's probably not too much point just hunting them down. But a few extra laborers, why not? Gordas just went out going crazy on them all. Oh, you're on your wolf. Oh, God, they, they keep gaining stuff levels so quickly. I haven't got a chance to keep up with them all. He's on his wolf. No wonder he's so fast. I was thinking he's still on foot. He's having a great time munching them all to bits. Oh, my days. Victory, but at what cost? Well, I mean, we would have lost all of the alternative was we, we lose our whole army. So, yeah, we may have lost some units, but not our whole lord, our whole, uh, our whole force. One of the lords is down. Go train, go. Nice. That'll do. Pyrrhic victory. Oh, I'm actually going to save that replay as well. Satan smash. I watched that one back. That was quite enjoyable. Didn't get to really zoom in and enjoy it all because it was just frantic clicking. Ha ha ha. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, yeah, we should send the uh, we should send that to Alex for his total showdown. There we go. Yeah, I'll send that over to him. A Pyrrhic victory. We captured 2,328 of the enemy, and that will give us 1,164 juicy laborers. Yes, please. What do we actually lose? We just lost two hobgoblin sneaky gits. Wow. Oh, the demon smith. Dan got 541 kills. Gordas did amazing. I mean, Zatan didn't get many at all, but that's because I was keeping him back, trying to stop him from dying. Blunderbusters did well. Magma Cannon. Uh, oh my god, Magma Cannon. I was, I was looking at that going, Magma Cannon. No, that's the Deathstreaka Rocket Launcher. 267. Iron Demon 92. But the Magma Cannon, 924. Mwah! Yeah, magma cannons are like my favorite artillery piece right now. I've upgraded. When I started this campaign, I said, oh yeah, blunderbusters are my favorite unit. Right now, magma cannons. I'm going to get me some more magma cannons. <laughs> Quest issued. Occupy, loot, raise, or sack two different settlements. The Tan's master, Groth the Cruel, keeps his brutal commander busy by having him satisfy Zarnagrin's insatiable demand for fresh laborers to help wield his military power effectively Groth regularly arms a tan with equipment from his own arcane armory such as murderous toys such murderous toys do not always come without strings however and Groth does not hesitate to continually challenge the tan to prove himself thus his latest order is for Zatan to spread the war host of Zar's authority by annexing more lands in turn further feeding Zarnagrin's ruthless industrial machine um in return, Zatan will receive a piece of armor that belonged to one of the greatest Chaos Dwarves to have ever led the hosts of the Dawizar. The armor of Gazrach. Beautiful. And we get some Conclave influence. So yeah, we just need to take two settlements. Easily done. I bow only before dragons. Only before dragons. Well, you'll also bow before Zatan's boot. What I'm thinking right now is that we send you back, recruit some more units, and then ferry them along. Although, we need some more income. Um, we can get some more income when we upgrade that factory. Can't push that through because we don't have any laborers. Um, they take a turn to go across, I think. Or do they go across instantly? It costs some gold to move labor over. Yeah, do it. 
just because then I can force this through now and start building. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> oh, the War Machine Graveyard. Yes, of course. Um, battle Healing Cap plus 50% for War Machine units and upkeep cost and armaments. Yeah, we definitely want to get that. That's why I was trying to rush through it, wasn't it? Um, yeah, but let's get some more gold. Raw materials get turned into gold to improve our economy. This... Uh, Mm, less raw materials, more armaments per turn. Part of me's like, push that through because then we get the, the other bit soon. So we want to save our raw materials. Can you take over the wall and use it as your wall? Uh, the Great Bastion, 100%. Yeah. We, we thankfully can occupy every climate. So we're going to turn the world into one great big factory furnace. This is essentially Factorio, but as dwarfs. Let's grab... Oh, no, wait. Hang on. Grab Killing Fire. And... Yeah, give me Ash Storm. And then yeah, get your get your butt over here. I am no slave. Interference will cost you dearly. Um I wonder if they've adjusted the Bastion mechanic for Cathay, considering you've got so many threats. Do they does it I don't know, does Immortal Empire spawn the constant raids on the Bastion, or is that only Realm of Chaos that that happens? Sneaky, yeah, we set Vanguard for them all. Lovely. Right. Smash. Saying as you want to invent the Forge World early, are you hoping to inspire Total War 40k? <laughs> just force force 40k into existence by just doing it here. In this campaign. This is the way. Um, I would like more laborers. I was thinking, like, do I want to take 548 gold? Actually, isn't terrible, terrible, but no. All the laborers, all the time. Yeah, so we only need to shuffle labor around from our mining to our factory ones when we want to force uh, rush construction. I say force construction. Rush construction through. Um, yeah, let's keep... We want to get rid of Village before he respawns and comes after us. And he's going to be pissed. So, yeah, we don't want that. Violent Delights. Yes, please. Magorm. Um. Oh, yeah, so we can totally fall. Uh, we can totally rush this through. Look at all that labor. So we just need a massive battle. Right, yeah, so we've improved that. We can now build the Tomb of Kengai Khan. Which upkeep cost reduction for hobgoblin units and recruitment cost for them. Uh, I'm, I'm going to throw it in because, yeah, it's a lot of money. But right now, we've got a good chunk of hobgoblins. Across most of our armies. So having that reduced by 15%, you know, every little helps. And we're still going to probably use a lot of them anyway. Um, well, we've got more armaments and we can boost them through. It's still going to be a ways off before we can uh, recruit full full stacks of just Dowie's art. Um, rush the construction of it. Oh, don't mind if I do. Ah. You know what? I probably shouldn't have built that this time because I was remembering what we were waiting to do. We were sending out a new convoy, weren't we? And for that, I'm going to need money. What can we do? I mean... You're coming in with some laborers next turn, so we don't really need that. Armaments for the laborers would be alright. 
We got resource change in two turns. I might just wait till I got a few more armaments and then like do this one over here. Wall of Greece. So yeah, we don't have enough for that. Can I, oh, I can. I could lower it though and still do it right now. But then armaments are going to be. So we could come up to the Volary. We get gold for raw materials. Can't actually do it yet. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till next turn so I've got a bit more gold. I think. And then yeah, we can claim another seat. So grant a random follower or banner ancillary every three turns, or do about relations with Chaos Dwarves and income from trade tariffs. I want to go, I mean, there are loads of other ones that I could go and get, which would be really nice. But right now, I want to try and get that first, this first tier done so we get the extra uh, bonus from having it all filled. Um, I mean, a random follower or ancillary banner wouldn't, we don't actually have many of those. But then... Warriors of Chaos and Norska. Trade tariff income plus fifty percent. How much am I gonna get am I getting from trade right now? 152, so it's not really that. I think I'm gonna treat myself to the uh preceptor. Grant grants random follower or banner ancillary every three turns. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we can dispatch caravan, but I don't quite have the resources for it. I, I will do it next time. We'll at least, we'll at least have a thousand gold then. Um, saving the raw materials to. Um, what are we saving it for next? Oh yeah, upgrading that. Yep, 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 yep. Right, end the turn. I've always said I'd really like to do a, a, a return of a, a, a rerun of the Colette campaign. I don't know if I'd do it as a full campaign, but with like a singular task of rushing him over, grabbing the Sword of Cain, and then going on a mental domination spree just to see how much we could power him up. Nice. Uh, quest issue, the Obsidian Axe. Kill 3,000 enemies in battle. Easy. Beautiful. Um, Hrugar, the unbreakable convoy completed. Nice. I can just send two convoys off now. The Red Fortress is pretty strong. I mean, I've got the artillery. Okay, no, they're still... They're still super weak. Let's go finish them off first. In which case, though, I'm going to have to go in and camp stance. Oh, there we go. Can't quite reach you. Oh. Do none of them have block army? No. Rats. Oh, and now I can't replenish. Okay, I can go there and I can ambush. Let's hope they don't see me then. Right, Iron Storm. Yep, all my raw materials go into that. How much to rush it? 6.30. Yeah, we could afford to switch, switch them over. Get that done as well. Right, I was going to get you guys in here and then. Oh, Hobgoblin Wolf Riders Spears. Oh, yeah, I forgot they've got all that recruitment, haven't we? Be the best. If I'm going to recruit anything, it has to be this turn to benefit from it. Mm. We also want to send off convoys. Which, right now, I think. I won't bother going for laborers. I'll go for more raw materials because that's what we're sure we could we could trade some armaments. So let's see. Have we got anyone that wants to do some armament trading for raw resources? No. 
It's all for laborers. Dang it. <laughs> That's gold for raw materials, but we don't have a lot. It's not really worth it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's gold for all resources, but yeah, we, we need armaments. It's what we needed. Um, I could just wait for a turn to see what else we get. Although, hang on, a thousand gold for a thousand labor? It takes 13 turns, but... Now, you know what? Do it. Treat yourself. Go on a nice little little wander, because we can, we can send off another caravan next turn. A convoy, caravan, you guys know what I mean. To new resources around us. Yeah, let's go get a thousand laborers. What an exotic holiday. Uh, I don't have enough gold now to switch the labor around, do I? Yeah, so it's going to have to be... Wait till next turn. Unless, 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 unless. Infomancy. I cost myself 200 labor to get 1,500 added to the treasury. In which case, I should have increased that to get more. Am I in that desperate need of it? No, I can, I can wait a turn. I can wait a turn. Uh, you've got hidden stores already for casualty replenishment. So cargo capacity we've also increased. You can have more of that better. Scales. Yeah, do that. Technology researched. Harbour guilds. Yeah, we're now going on to hotter furnaces. Good, good, good. So five forty is what we need to finish that one. We can we can still get it over there. Plus, uh, I don't know where they're gone. Oh no, they sent their army over there. Ah, oh, cool. You can get those guys in there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here. I can damage buildings with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here first, deal with these guys, considering they've got this army here. The last thing I want is that coming back while I'm sieging it. Because I'll probably siege it and get some towers. And then we've got that comfortably. Right. So we need... That many. Oh, I don't have enough of that. Seriously? Got enough of that. Which we're not going to do. We're just going to wait. Um, Jerry's Crossroad. We will. I mean, that's going to probably get hit soon. They're I building up. No Ornaments at the cost of raw materials. We can afford it. I also think we, if anything, we probably need more. More gold right now. More gold generations. Let's do that. Doomless. I want to get more troops in here, but also can't afford that particularly. Let's have a look at the convoys that we can send out now. So we can send out this one. 
got a mammoth in it. What's on the cards? Are oh, more raw materials from the Volary? Can only get 282 though. Any better offers? That's better. Because they're further away. Better deals. All that and we get a big chunk of gold. We just get a load more resources, but I don't think we're going to get lucky with that. We're going to Karen Carl for more laborers anyway. Yeah, go go over here. Go for long convoys. So I'm not using my armaments to upgrade anything just yet. We'll still get enough next in the next turn or two to get me more dwarf warriors if I want. But with what I can afford right now, I'm probably going to be limited to just more hobgoblins. I wouldn't mind getting another magma cannon though. So I might try and upgrade for one of those. Although their upkeep is pretty extensive. But all the things we're building at the moment will get us more armaments. So. And the turn again. Is to the max convoys you can send. Um, there is a technology I, I believe I've seen which adds another convoy, another military convoy. I don't know if that's the only tech, so it's like uh, maximum three. All the other two chaos dwarfs start with one convoy available. Zatan actually has a like a bonus faction effect that gives him an additional one. So he starts with two, which makes things, um, you know, quite. quite bountiful for him. Um, take the shortcut or fight the battle and reduce journey time against Skaven. They've got rattling guns in there. I mean, my troops should slaughter them. Yeah, let's fight them. Take the shortcut. Rats in a tunnel. Oh, uh, no, it's an ambush. Should have probably read the thing. I'm guessing it would have said ambush. We've got the infernal guard though, with fire glaives. So let's do it. Do minor settlement defenses still exist? Yeah, they do exist. Um, for chaos dwarves, minor settlement battles occur in all your factory regions. Um, fact, the factory building line, right from tier one, uh, says all battles fought here will be unwalled settlement battles. Uh, outposts for your mines are always open field battles, though there is no way to convert them to an unwalled settlement battle or even upgrade it to a walled settlement battle. Are your lords beefy enough to carry fights and while you're stuck with just gobos? Um, I mean, they're pretty, pretty tanky. Oof, you guys are getting obliterated. Okay, maybe this is a bad thing. Go, 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 go. I need to take out those rattling guns, otherwise I'm shredded. Poor old blunderbusses. Hopefully these guys rally. You guys are going to get ruined out here on your own. There we go. Another volley. Come on. Come on. 
That one's broken. That's fine. They'll survive. I mean, to be fair, against the enemies that you have at the start, you only need a few Chaos Dwarf units to kind of hold your own. This Infernal Guard are great, though. Getting some serious, like, 40k vibes right now. Blunderbusses fire a shot across the rattling gunners to finish them off. Beautiful. Right. Turn it around, fire on these guys. Ready. He's a strong lad. Oh, that is not appreciated. Right, melt him. Come on. <laughs> Devastating. Yeah, that's the break. I want to see these guys fire off a full volley when they're not being interrupted all the time. Hoping the glaive guns have a melee animation. Oh, uh, they should do. If I charge them in melee. I don't think there's any of them that they can catch, though. But they should start using them as axes. Just listen to the fire glaives. Tell me that's not a nod to 40k. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like they've got most of the pieces of the puzzle to to make a 40k total war work. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think it's, you know, I, I don't know what they're doing next, fancy wise, but I, I will find it very hard to believe that, you know, Creative Assembly Games Workshop after this trilogy of hugely successful games and dlcs they go yeah we're done with our partnership now we'll just both go our separate ways thanks guys bye i i i think they'll be working with them on on some of their other ips for hopefully a long long time um i mean unless there's something that we you know we don't know about and maybe maybe it hasn't been crazily successful but it, it seems like it has been so have to wait and see but yeah i think uh if, if they keep the partnership up, hopefully a 40k one is inevitable. I'm not sure if that excites me more 
um, then the fact that that would also mean then there is maybe a teeny tiny chance that I would actually get to meet Henry Cavill because he's a massive Total War fan and a massive uh, Warhammer fan. <laughs> I'd be like, CA, if you ever get him to your offices, just, just let me in. Like, please. <laughs> I just want to be near him. <laughs> Bask in his glory. That was hugely successful for us, actually. Yeah, we lost a few units, but we also smashed some faces. Um, I don't know what lies ahead for our army, so not taking the replenishment could be risky. 144 labor in the grand scheme of things probably isn't. The treasury is a little bit of a top up and we kind of are struggling with gold right now. Yeah. I'm going to take the ransom captives actually for some extra gold. Well, that's through to our next turn. Noise. Yeah, because all I'm... Oh, no, we've got both those both active there. But then I can use the money to recruit more units. Um, they all start costing a fair bit. Oh, oh I was hoping I get another magma cannon. I need more armaments. I shouldn't have probably traded them all. Right, you've not seen me here. Uh, can I somehow convert ar more armaments over? No. I cannot. I think they're just building up, getting ready to attack this one. I'm going to have to come back for that and instead go for we against armor. Yeah, let's get some cavalry. I really should have, yeah, I should have saved the money for when I had the extra recruiting, but that's fine. Uh, throw another one of them. Yeah, do that, and that'll that'll be enough for now. Hobgoblin army. Wasn't planning on doing that right now, but yeah, it'll work out. Right, it's a tan strike. They're gonna run, but hopefully not far enough. Thank you. Medium casualties. <laughs> no. Maybe Henry Henry Cavill's here watching the stream right now. I mean, that would that would make make that would yeah that would make my day. <laughs> Hi, Henry. All hail Primark Cavill. <laughs> Is there any reason why there has to only be a trilogy? Like, what's stopping them from making another? Um, I mean, I don't know. I, they they always build this as a trilogy of games, and they've still build this as the final installment in their trilogy. I mean, they'll they'll still be working on you know additional DLC and content for a good few years to come. That's the that's kind of the plan. Oh yeah, I could swing back in here again. Um, I think though they'll, they'll probably stick there rather than tacking on a fourth one. I think they, if they're going to do something else, they they do it in its own in its own thing. But I mean, yeah, if they, if they keep the partnership going with Games Workshop, I'll be very surprised if we don't end up then seeing a Age of Sigma, Total War, or a 40k or both. I think if the partnership continues, then those things are inevitable. Choo choo, mother truckers. I guess they could do an end times DLC. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if we did get something like that. If 
but I think for the most part they're you know the 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 team that built the base Warhammer 3 game are all working on their the next project now apparently so this is all now being done by the the post launch team which did I think pretty much all the DLC for Warhammer 2 as well so yeah whatever that Warhammer fantasy team's working on next that's the uh, that's the secret Start shooting him. Get him with the magma cannon. One Neferata. Yeah. I mean, I feel like surely they've got to do an Agash DLC or big bad end game event at some point. Oh, yeah. I didn't check to what's given him those abilities. I'm assuming it must be the Lamassu. Oh nice. You're on your your Bell Taurus now. Sweet. Well, that's a long cast, isn't it? Oh, they look more devastating now, though. Ow! Get them to all focused up by the train. And then we bot them. Chaos Dowie. Charge. Beautiful. That'll do it. Lock them in place. Mess up their armor. Mess up their attack. Send Zatan in. Buff them all with flamey attacks. Some more piercing bolts. Don't mind if I do. Beautiful flaming carnage. Here they come. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that Lord just got melted. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard not to love the blunderbuss.
Yeah, Death Trigger is a friendly fire. Managing my artillery or keeping up with managing it. Here's the struggle. I just love how this, this fires. It's so cool. There's a massive rocket straight up once it's locked in. Off the rocket goes. And then when it's kind of locked on and beginning its descent down, splits. The regular Dowie, are they missing any cool artillery pieces currently in game? I feel like they're <laughs> like by comparison now you're gonna be like, oh this regular Dowie artillery just just sucks. <laughs> what unit did that and can I get nineteen of them please? Yeah, blunderbusses. Can't wait till we can get some more uh, Infernal Guard. I like the new, like, scratch claw visual. That's cool. Lamas, you use scratch. It's super effective. Wonder what is Lamasu's called? But it's something nice like Bob. Bob the Lamasu. Oh yeah, go Iron Demon go. Choo choo! Full steam ahead. never not going to be fun just hunting down the enemies of the Dowies are and blowing them into bits. <laughs> 